Welcome to our very first webisode of Organic Edible Garden. Each week we'll bring you information on the best things to do in your garden right now. Today we're going to show you how to plant a pear tree and a mandarin tree. And surprisingly there is a difference. Now's a good time to plant your citrus. The citrus we're planting today is a Satsuma mandarin. The first thing we have to do with the citrus is dig a hole. We're planting this citrus on a hill because it's got good drainage, which is one of the most important things for citrus. You need to dig your hole slightly larger than the pot your plant comes in. Also, with the sides of your hole, try and dig areas so it doesn't pull like a swimming pool. This will allow the earthworms to come in and the water to go out. This is a sign of a good citrus. If it's in a bag and it's root bound and the roots go round and round, the tree will suffer in the future. So if you can get a tree like this, that's best for the tree. The next thing we're going to do is add some compost. If you've got lovely volcanic soil, it's not as necessary. But for people like us that have got clay soils, which don't drain very well, it's best to add a good loam. In this case, we've got a dark compost, which we're gonna add. When planting a citrus, it's really important to plant it above the ground level. Over time the soil goes down and you'll end up with a hollow where you planted the citrus, which is where water pools and your citrus will suffer. So in this case, I'm probably going to plant it about this high. After standing down it'll still be above ground level, but that will eventually go down over time. Adding clay back into your hole is not a bad thing. Clay is nutrient dense, it just needs the compost to help activate it and unlock the nutrients in the soil. Stamping it down not only gets rid of the air pockets, but makes it firmer for the tree. What we're going to do is we're going to chop these lower branches off. They will never be good for the tree because they're always hanging down. We want these branches to be our main stems in the tree. In this case, we're just using methylated spirits. We'll dip the secateurs in them and just shake it off. Now the secateurs are sterilized. Remember, when pruning your citrus, it's best not to prune them during the months of November, December or January. This is when the lemon borer is flying. When pruning the citrus, they can smell it for miles away and they can attack your tree. Citrus, like all subtropicals, are gross feeders. So when planting your citrus, give it a good, well-balanced fertilizer. In this case, this fertilizer is made up of volcanic rock and seaweed and worm castings. We water the citrus to settle down the soil and wash in the fertilizer. We're covering the area we put the citrus in with coconut fiber. We're doing this because this will protect the soil from the heavy rain. It'll keep the roots cool over summer and will stop the chickens scratching up the area. For a deciduous tree, prepare the hole and add the compost just as you did the citrus. The roots of the pear tree need to be splayed wide over the mound in the hole. After splaying out the roots, we can now put our soil in. Make sure the tree is planted above the ground level and it will compress down over time. It's really important when you've got a deciduous tree not to put heavy nitrogen fertilizers around. We don't want a lot of leaf growth in the first year. We want it to build up and have a strong root system. The good thing about this fertilizer, it's not heavy in nitrogen and it will give the tree a good start to life. With any deciduous fruit tree, it's really good to stake it for its first year. In this case, we're putting the fence battens in and the prevailing wind. In this case, it's a southwest and a northeast.
we're using a soft stretchy material to tie up the tree. Any harder material can rub on the trunk and cause infection. Although it can be scary, it's really important to prune your fruit tree back by a half or a third after planting. It gives your tree a much better start in life. In this branch here, we've got cicada damage, so it has to come off. We're also taking off this branch because it's spindly. Try and cut close to the tree. And lastly, chop a third from the top. Always chop it on an angle so the water can run off. The next thing we're going to do is make sure we put some pruning paste on these wounds. And lastly, we're going to plant some beneficial plants around our fruit tree. In this case, we're planting comfrey root. Comfrey mines the subsoil, feeds the plant over winter, will keep the roots cool and also attract the beneficial insects. You can also plant spring bulbs and other companion flowers.